Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to take my Ram 3500 and I'm going to put a bed in the back uh, for when I travel overnight uh, doing the RV transport. And as you can see, I've already taken the uh, seats out of the back. Got a lot of room back here. And these are pretty cool here. An extra storage down there, so I'm not. I'm gonna try to build it up to where um, I have enough room to store things underneath it, um, and I'm gonna try to make the level, the bed level here. I'm gonna have it like a six inch mattress, so I need to build a shelf across across here and leave enough room where I can store things underneath it. I uh, purchased this big four by uh, four by four piece of plywood, inch thick. That is fifty dollars right there. So, um. And I've got some spare wood. This is my building I built last year during the COVID epidemic. I got a, a lot of wood in there. So I'm going to, I think I've got some four befores. If not, I can put some two befores together to make a four before. And I'm not sure how we're going to do it. I'm just going to kind of wing it as we go. So hang in there and I'll keep you posted and kind of show you the steps. Okay, I'm going to go back and see if I can find 4x4. Four four. Show you my property a little bit. I built this in the pandemic when we were off work for like five weeks. And my chicken coop over here. My girl, Harley, Harley Joe. I've got another GSP, German Short Hair Pointer. Sadie May, I don't know where she's at. But, um, oh, there they are. Probably just need one of these. Come on, girl. Don't mind my junk there. I'm a bit of a collector. If you see in my garage, uh, we used to sell antiques and buy all kinds of stuff for this jam full. So what I'm gonna do is take some measurements now and measure this up. So uh, I guess, like I said, I am not good at video videoing, so I don't know what to do next. I'm going to... Uh, measure this up and kind of show you the measurements i guess and then uh, get to cutting some wood okay we've got in the back it's about let's see 62 inches across now i am six foot two so i'm gonna have to lay diagonally uh, back here but all right so 62 inches there up front 62 I don't, I don't want to make it too long so I have to take into account the doors come in a little bit as you can see this is gonna cut some of it off so I've got to look at that and then see In the front, I'm gonna have it about well, no, because I've got a six inch, so it's gonna be about 10 inches tall at this point. Okay, so I've got to measure the hump that's in the center to its height and calculate that to make the legs on this side. 
and then also the height of this so that's going to take some figuring so let me get back to you okay i got to cut a piece um 60 inches by 39 inches that is um what i need for unless i'm not going to cut any special angles or anything out of this this is all i need to do it's not going to be anything real fancy i'm struggling with how many legs to put on it i don't want it to be too heavy because I will want to take this out. So and this is one heavy board. And there's sixty. Okay, now all we have to do is cut. didn't measure twice and cut once. So this is going to be, obviously, that doesn't look very big, but it should cover the back end and give me enough room, so. Okay, I want to cut the legs um, in the front. I'm going to have to cut the top and then cut, turn it over and cut the bottom, but I've got on the two ends. 14 inches from the bottom to the top of the uh, bed and then the center console is 10 inches so 
I've got them measured out. I just need to cut them now. Is to put these on, put it in there, get the and get a level on it, level up the board, and then measure how much I'm going to need for the back ones. I don't know if I'm going to need to put uh, any cross two bys or not. Like I said, I don't want to make it too heavy, so we'll see when we get there. Um, I'm going to attach, simply attach these 4x4s with some screws, some good wood screws, and then we'll get inside and try to get level. Well, this is the way I normally do things by myself, so I don't have a lot of, I don't have any help. So, I'm, this is not going to be the sturdiest thing. Uh, I don't need it. I mean, I wouldn't be taking this in and out a lot, but I'm gonna use these three inch deck screws and put about four a piece in each of uh, these four by four. But I wouldn't put a lot of uh, movement this way back and forth on it. professional way I'd probably put some brackets on it I still may do it uh, some L brackets attach the L brackets up here and down the side um, I'm gonna try to get away with this though we'll see what happens and they crap everywhere All right, there's one of them. Go on, get out of the way. So what we'll do is come in here and I will set this up. This side will have the legs on it. And I'm gonna get a level somehow and try to measure what the legs need to be on this side. So that's the next step. some more chickens I have a lot of eggs 
okay i've gotten it in him in the truck hopefully you can see that so what i want to do is lift it up get it level and then measure this other side and put more post on the other side so that's my next step and without help again i'll have to uh figure out how i am going to do this okay there's the level that is pretty close i happen to have a bucket that just about perfect and i'm going to call that good i can push it down a little bit but by the time i measure underneath here to figure out the size i'm probably going to be a little bit short anyway so now i've got to crawl under here and measure um well, actually i can probably measure just this distance here so let me get my tape measure nine and three quarter inches so if i make it nine and a half it's probably going to be good i'm going to measure the other side oh camera fall i'm not sure this is even working should be the same no This one is right at nine, but I haven't leveled this side either. Yeah, I can tell that that side is high over there. So I'm gonna have to work on it a little bit. Um, let me get that level. This one actually needs to go down quite a bit. So maybe this bucket is not as good as I thought. Or maybe this level is messed up too. It's an old one. Yeah, I need to come down quite a bit on that back side. I can see from this side that it is much higher over there. So let me, uh, bucket's too high. I might be able to move it down in the center. You know, I'm just trying to get it level. That looks better, but it's not. Shoot, so maybe my bucket is not as good as I thought. Okay, new plans. Okay, it's gotten hot out here. Uh, taking off my sweatshirt. Um, I, I figured out it was eight inches post I was gonna need. And if you can see, I'm gonna have to offset them back a little bit because there's a uh, indention there. So I'm gonna move these end ones over. And I don't know about the center one, but I'm just gonna screw these in. And then we should be done and I'll test it. Okay, that's it. It is in there. It didn't take long. I do see a problem. I don't know if you guys see it, but the middle one I cut too short. I'm gonna have to put a shim underneath that. But everything else looks good. And I've got quite a bit of storage. I can store things under here, which I'm excited about. Get some toolboxes in here, get all the DOT requirements stuff in here. I'm gonna go I do a um, 
truck review or whatever whatever it's called i don't i don't know what they call it but go over my truck that i bought but i've got some one small uh thin well it's pretty large but it's a thin toolbox on the end of this but i don't really want to store my expensive stuff and i'm i'll do another video showing you all the stuff that i bought to do this and how much money it's cost me and everything so uh, but that's about it i think i will be able to let me get up in here and see i know i'm gonna have to lay uh crossways on it so let's see if i can do this without breaking the camera and that's another thing you guys for you professionals you may give me some tips right now i'm using a gopro oh it's plenty sturdy and i will have to lay like this and just barely do i fit in here it's six foot two so if you're taller than six foot two i'm gonna say you could be uncomfortable i won't be the most comfortable but i'll save a lot of money on the hotels all i got left now is put a six inch pad in here my I don't know, I may try to do some more storage ideas, but this will be good for now. I put the shim in so everything looks good. Uh, I, the mattress I got is foam mattress I bought from Walmart. It's a three inch memory foam. I'm gonna get another one, but they're twin size. I'm gonna have to cut that to fit that's the only really thing i have left and i'm not going to show that uh, I, I wanted to show everybody the general construction of how i did it and you know you it's pretty simple you don't have to do it this way but i didn't see a lot of videos out there on how to put a, a bed in the back of a, a ram 3500 so but it, this would work with any vehicle like this you just got to take the measurements and get your wood um so hopefully you got something out of it please uh, subscribe and uh like and comment and any suggestions on storage uh, maybe there's some other ones out there, some of you out there that have done this before i need all the help i can get so uh, okay thanks we'll talk to you later